Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this uh, video clip we're going to talk about factoring trinomial and we're going to talk about the case where the a is different than 1. What do we mean by that? Let's see an example. There you go. We have two examples here. You see uh, when we say a is different than, than uh, 1 we mean that leading coefficient leading coefficient it's 3 in this case and it's 2 in the other case. So, uh, this one are different than the previous video clip. However, we, we're going to see, we're going to do some things that are the same. Okay, so let's take a look to 25. And the first thing I'm going to do uh, is the diamond problem. Remember, product and sum, and we have to do 3 times 36, that is 108. Then we have here 31. So you see kind of the same idea, the only difference, you need to multiply these two numbers first, and we get that 108, as I said. Okay, so the idea here is, can we find two numbers whose product is 108 and sum is 31? Okay, and if this is not an easy one, probably you need to... <laughs> Create a list in order to find them. So the first thing in my mind, the first two factors are 1, 1, 8. Obviously, there is no way to get 31. 2 and uh, 54 will be the next uh, group. Again, I don't think that is 31. In fact, I'm positive. Uh, 3 and uh, 36. Uh, that's not also 31, 4, and um, 27. Hey, there you go. I think we found the good numbers, 4 and 27. 4 and 27 are the two numbers who, uh, if we multiply, we get 108. If we add, we get uh, 31. And now, whoops, okay. One more time. One more time. So one oh eight, <coughs> thirty one, and as I said, four and twenty seven. My next way to, my next step here is to do the generic rectangle. And in this uh, generic rectangle, we're going to fill the trinomial we have with this guy. We're going to put 3x squared first, then 36. And as you notice, I put this on the left up corner and the down uh, right corner. And now, we have this 31x. Hey, guess what? This 31x is nothing else than the sum of 4x and 27. That's the reason I use this diamond problem to find the combination that will give us that sum of 31x. And now we're going to factor out by each column and each row. In other words, factoring by grouping. So here we have 3x, right? 3x squared and 27x, they have 3x in common. 4x and 36, they have 4, 3x squared and 4x, they have x, and 27x and 36x, they have 9. Everything is positive here, so it's pretty easy. The final answer is 3x plus 4, and x plus 9. Now, whenever you have negative number, try to go backwards, multiply, and see if you get the original expression. There are some other tricks you, you maybe you can find to decide what sign you have. Go ahead now and try the try, try number 26. Pause this video clip.
There you go, this is the final answer for number 26, uh, pretty similar, you see here we have that uh, story I just mentioned with the sign, uh, decide how uh, you're going to play with the sign for your two factors, 2x minus 3 and x minus 8 based on the original one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back more for more video clips on C square.